I'm GW Ayers, Director of Sales at Tactical Taylor. We're going to talk to you a little bit about our low-vis MBAV plate carrier. Uh, MBAV armor is some of the most prevalent in the marketplace today. It's widely uh, issued throughout the Special Forces community, and there's really no way at the time to carry the MBAV armor, your hard plate and your basic load, in a low-vis configuration, whether you're wearing it under a, a, a shirt or you're wearing it under local garb in a non-permissive environment, you're able to, um, you weren't able to adequately carry the load and your um, body armor to where you could defend yourself and the people you're around at the time. So what Tactical Taylor did is we took some input from uh, one of our employees that has ex uh, significant uh, experience in the field of low-vis operations in the combat theater. And uh, we took his experience and his knowledge and his know-how as well as some feedback for some, from some special operators that were going to the field very quickly and able to come up with this MBAV carrier in order to, one, uh, keep your armor in a low-vis configuration close to the body, and two, being able to carry a subload so that you can uh, reload your magazines or carry a medical pouch or uh, some of the things that you need Im immediately if, if the worst thing occurs while you're in, on a low-vis mission. So let's talk a little bit about uh, materials. All Tactical Tailor uh, materials are made in the USA and they're made to, uh, to a mil-spec standard. We try to buy the finest materials that we can find because we know that our product's gonna go in the back of an operator downrange. And the last thing we want to have happen is that get a phone call or an email from someone that said, hey, this thing, the stitching came loose or the, uh, the fabric frayed. Uh, we're, we're known throughout the customer base and throughout the industry as having some of the finest designed and manufactured products on the market today. What you'll notice first is that, um, you know, uh, this is covered in loop. Um, let's talk a little bit about what loop and hook is. Uh, the loop is the soft part of, the, of what we commonly referred to as Velcro. And Velcro is a trademarked uh, name, so we don't use uh, that in, um, in our advertisements. And when we talk about uh, product, we, we, we describe it as hook and loop. Um, and the military, uh, especially the airborne operators, call it hook and pile tape. This being the pile and hook being the, the, the hard por portion that sticks to this. So we'll talk about hook and loop. You know, we used... Uh, uh, the best onshore berry compliant uh, hook and loop that we could find and we know it holds up over time there's been some complaints in the past uh, not with our product with other products that utilize hook and loop and that it loads up um, it loses its uh, ability to stick to one another over time and basically you know you're going to have some of those uh, issues with every kind of hook and loop but the, the what we chose was some of the uh, the best and we've never really warranted any of our products for hook and loop problems uh, since 2007 when we made the switch to this brand of hook and loop. Now let's talk a bit about sizing. Um, the the MBAV plate carrier is sized for the plate and the armor. It's not sized for the body. So if you're a big guy and, you, and you're and you wearing large plates because you want to cut down the, the load that you're wearing, then uh, by all means buy a, a large plate carrier. Uh, it'll be able to uh, stretch and bend with the, your torso for whatever size. And Tactical Taylor, when we make designs, we try to make designs that'll fit uh, uh, someone my size all the way down to someone uh, that's a little smaller in stature, probably about 115 pounds. We try to get that happy medium so that everything that we design is going to uh, fit the broad spectrum better. Uh, you'll notice on the front of here that there's Hypalon on the sides here. And that's a material we're starting to use more and more because of its, uh, it's very rugged, it's light, and it's, uh, it, um, it also uh, does add a little cool factor and something different that you don't see on every other plate carrier out there. There's also, uh, you'll see slits cut in this, uh, cut in these pieces of Hypalon, and, and the clips are, are designed to go onto these, these things here. So if you have a chest rig carrier that you have, like maybe a mini Mav from Tactical Tailor or our, um, um, some of our other chest carriers that we've designed in the past, you'll be able to plug them right into this, to this chest carrier without any, uh, additional sewing to the carrier at all. So you'll be able to use these um, adaptable clips to go right in these slots and so that whether you need a male a male or a female portion, uh, you're able to do that and, uh, and uh, modify your kit accordingly. Let's talk a little bit about uh, internals. You know, it comes with a side sappy pocket. The side sappy is sized for the six by six plate.
What you'll do is you'll slide your uh, soft MBAV armor inside of the, the pocket here. You'll simply fold it up, stick it inside here and work its way around. I don't need to bore you with those details because if you utilize this armor, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Close the pocket down. It closes inside the original, uh, the, the main pocket. Then you'll slide your hard plate inside of here. Simply rotate it around. Leave the tab sticking out a little bit. Close it down and bang, you're ready to roll. All right, so then also all you do is the same, is the reverse on the back. Same thing occurs, soft armor towards the body, hard armor to the outside. Each pocket's lined with a, a 420 pack cloth. It's a ripstop nylon. It uh, precludes abrasion and, and extends the lifetime of the pack. You'll notice that this one's the large one I have. It has a tab in here that says L, self-explanatory. So we'll close it down and leave that tab out. You'll look at the shoulders here. The shoulders, you'll be able to adjust for a numerous sized people. so that you can get the most um, bang for the buck per size. So um, don't be concerned that it won't adjust enough. On the back part of this thing, you'll notice that there's a loop. There's a loop field here for identification or um, you know maybe some, um, some uh, IFF panels, whatever you'd like to stick on these things here. Or maybe uh, it's one of where you, one of your pouches go. And we'll talk a little bit about that just in a second on how pouches affixed to this and allow you to carry a, um, a load on top of your low vis vest. The, the colors that these uh, products will come in currently are the three that you see here. Uh, we have a uh, um, Multicam, which is, um, um, you'll see in use in the, um, otherwise known as OCP, uh, is used in the combat theater of operations currently. We have black for our law enforcement customer and some other customers in the Special Operations Command that prefer that, that, that shade of color. And then we also have Coyote Brown, which seems to be the, the color of choice now because of the, uh, just the um, uh, uh, modularity of the color in the marketplace. So let's talk a little bit about the Multicam plate carrier. There's some differences between the solid colors and this one. Obviously, it's a camouflage color. Uh, it's also known as uh, OCP. Uh, there's some shade differences, but uh, I, I really can't tell sometimes. But what you'll notice here is with our Multicam products, we've always, we all use the matching loop, okay? So all the Multicam products you'll see today coming out from Tactical Tailor have the matching hook and loop so that the product, uh, the loop will match the fabric that it's going on to. Now, unfortunately, at the time we manufactured these, there was not, there's not a uh, Hypalon uh, Multicam version right now. I understand there is on the market today, but it's very, very expensive. And we'd rather just use this little piece of, uh, Coyote Brown instead of uh, jacking the cost up of this carrier uh, to the consumer. Um, you'll notice that every detail right down to this pull tab is, is Multicam, which is a little different from us and, and, uh, and it's a product upgrade, you can bet. Uh, this stuff is a little more expensive, but it makes sure makes a better product. So remember that uh, all these products are, are modular in nature and you're able to utilize them in a, in a way that will um, increase your uh, lethality and your concealability in the field. So let's talk a little bit about how, how do we do that? How do we carry a, a, a subload onto, a, um, uh, onto your carrier? So basically what we'll do is we'll grab our Tactical Tailor uh, low-vis pouches and we'll affix them to our chest rig by simply just sticking them on. And then uh, you can also do pistol pouches, um, and there's a lot of uh, hook and loop fastened pouches on the marketplace today that will interface with our, um, our modular plate carrier here, our MBAV plate carrier. So as you can see, these uh, pouches uh, affix nicely onto the, to the uh, uh, carriers. What another good thing about using hook and loop fastening systems as opposed to maybe the PALS webbing is that you know angles are, are possible like they weren't ever before with using hook and loop. You know, simply if you want your magazine pouches to be at a, a different angle, you just turn the pouch to that angle. Or uh, maybe you want them upside down, like I saw some pictures of some people in the field with our test products. And they had the mag pouches, not necessarily pistol mag pouches, but they had the mag pouches upside down 
on the back of their on the back of their carriers, which I thought was very interesting. Uh, TTP. I would say that um, the amount of uh, convenience and modularity that's provided by this product is probably unmatched in the marketplace today. So what you need to remember is the Buy Tactical Tailor is designed by Patriots for Patriots. And thank you.